Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing this, the all new Hoka Clifton version 9. We've put about 50-60 k's through this shoe now, all sorts of different speeds, different paces, different distances. So I thought let's sit down and take you through into a bit of a deep dive. Is it going to my rotation? Is it going into your rotation? Let's see if the Clifton 9 is any good. Let's get this review done. So thanks very much guys for joining us for another review here on the channel. As always, we'll split this video up into various different sections, so feel free to move your mouse around. We'll start out with all of the facts and figures. We'll chat about what I like about the shoe, what I don't like about the shoe, the differences from the outgoing model, and also some other options out there that you might like to consider before you purchase your next pair of shoes. And then finally, is it going into my rotation? Are we gonna be keeping it, or is it going on eBay? So in terms of the differences between this and the outgoing model, well the midsole foam in this version is slightly lighter, slightly sort of different composition, which has allowed for a little bit more stack height, a little bit more cushioning in there. So about three mil extra stack height. And also with that more lightweight foam, it is just lighter overall. But essentially, it's a very, very similar shoe. If you like the previous version, then version nine is gonna tick all those boxes. Right, let's get stuck into the facts and figures. So this is the ninth generation of the Clifton shoe. I started out in version three, but also got that special release of version one. So I've done many hundreds and hundreds of miles in Clifton's over the years. Now this shoe set me back 130 pounds. As always, I bought it 100% with my money off the Hoka website here in the UK. It's gonna be around about 150 euros or 145 US dollars. Now the stack cut at the back, about 32 mil and four foot, about 27, giving that five millimeter drop overall. In terms of the weight for my size in a UK size 12, about 312 grams, slightly lighter, just a little bit of a weight decrease from the outgoing model. Now it's a neutral shoe, and I'd very much say this is a shoe to do your daily runs in. It's a jack of all trades, an all round shoe. You can do lots of different types of running, your easy runs, your recovery runs, a bit of speed work, and a race every now and then if you want to. It's gonna be the type of shoe which would be most happy on the road. In terms of the upper, really nice engineered knit here, getting a really good lockdown. We'll come in some of the likes a little bit later on. The midsole, compression molded, EVA, exactly the same that Hoka have been using in the Clifton model for years and years. There's no carbon plate in this shoe. It's still fairly stiff, but no plate in there. In terms of the outsole, what Hoka call this gibrasion rubber outsole, really sort of prolonging the life in the shoe. Really haven't got much wear in this shoe so far. Should be pretty good for many hundreds of miles. In terms of the width, pretty good here in the standard version. I've got plenty of space for my feet to sort of splay out as I run. Now you can also get it in an extra wide version as well if you get it off the Hoka website. It was true to size for me and a couple of other interesting things. It's got a semi-gusseted tongue I think. It's gusseted on just just the one side. Something that I haven't personally, don't think I've seen before. Or I haven't noticed anyway. There are bits and pieces. Hoka just say some of this shoe is recycled and Hoka say it is vegan as well. Quickly guys, if you are finding this video, please smash that like button and answer today's question of the day down in the comments, which is what is your favorite all around shoe? Maybe something like the Nike Pegasus, the New Balance 1080, or even the Asics Nova Blast. Let us know what is your favorite all around run shoe, or maybe it's even this, <laughs> the Clifton. We'll catch up down in the comments. Right, back to the video. Right, let's get stuck into what I like about the Clifton 9. My first like is all about, I'm just gonna say like the lockdown and the comfort you get with this shoe. And this sort of Achilles flare at the back, really nice soft material here at the back of the shoe. Haven't had to use that heel, that sort of runner's lock, run, runner's lock, runner's knot to get it locked down. Just worked absolutely fine out of the box. Great comfort, great lockdown, nothing moving around as I run, no blisters, no hot spots. Just all out, whatever you're doing, running, just wearing it casually, walking around, at 
at the gym. Just really, really comfortable shoe. My second like is the lightweightness of this shoe. Now, obviously, it's not a lightweight shoe as it goes. If you want to get some lightweight shoes, get some racing flats or something like that. But in this, in this sector, this category, it's really nice and light. And you can feel that as you run along. Your legs just want to turn over a little bit more. It's good to have that slight weight decrease from a model, which is quite rare you see these days. Everyone's adding weight to their shoes. My final like is the upper in the shoe. Really nice airflow coming through really nice and breathable and as i said in that sort of wide toe box thing in the shoe feet have got so much space in there so let's move on to the dislikes well there's really sort of one big one here which is this compression molded eva midsole foam it's just so old really it's just sort of old technology and hoka just haven't updated it for a while it's okay at your easy run pace you're getting a little bit of responsiveness there but as you pick up the pace it just feels pretty dead and you feel like you're having to work that little bit hard it's just not the type of shoe that's going to put a smile on your face it's just dependable it's okay it's just a bit boring to run in. Something like the Hoka Mac 5, which isn't as durable as this shoe. It doesn't have the outsole rubber there to give it a really good long life, but they've got, it's sort of half and half with the EVA and then the Pro Fly um, in there as well. It's just a lot more fun to run in, a lot more responsive, sort of a reaction as you sort of change speed and things like that. But for me, just as the Clifton sits here, it's fine. It's just not that much fun, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Some other shoes which you might like to consider with this. The king really last year in this segment was the Asics Nova Blast or the New Balance 1080 version 12. Now you can pick those shoes up because they're slightly older on some discounts. And I think that's really gonna be a better option for you. If you're a big Hoka fan, then maybe something like the Mac 5 will be better. It's just a lot more fun to run in, just not quite as durable, not lasting quite as well. But all three of those other shoes, they're just a bit more fun. See what sort of deals you can get out there. But as I said earlier, if you are a fan of the Clifton, you've really enjoyed the previous models, then you're really gonna like this update. It really is a good, solid update, and it's gonna keep you happy and keep you logging those miles. So is this going to my rotation? Well, no, not really. I have enjoyed clocking up some miles in this shoe. It's just not the shoe I've been reaching for when I want to go out for my runs. I've put the miles in it to test it and it just hasn't given me that wow factor. But can I recommend it? Yes, it's a good solid shoe. I just think there's some slightly better, more fun options out there at the moment. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the review. If you've got any questions, you want to know any more, let us know down in the comments. Next up, we've got the Asics Gel Nimbus version 25 to review. We've been putting some miles in that big, high stack height, recovery, easy run shoe. Maybe the most comfortable shoe of all time. Well, that's what ASICs are saying. So stay tuned for that. Lots of love, guys. Hope your running is going well, wherever you're getting it done. And we'll see you very soon in the next one.